Hi there, my name is Arina and I'm from Russia. Welcome to my sit-down show. Americans ask me a lot of questions about Russia and I'm always glad to answer. Here are some fun facts I usually share. I started drinking when I was 13 and it's almost a legal drinking age in Russia. Once a camp I was going to was closed because there was too many bears around. Yes, I'm a spy and being a little innocent girl really helps to sneak around unnoticed. You can't survive a winter in Russia unless you wear a hat like this and drink vodka to warm up. Only half of these statements are true. What are you saying? Did we hug the elections? Nice try, I can't tell you that. No, but seriously, Americans ask me a lot of questions the answer to which they don't want to know. Like, how are you? Are you having fun? Do you like your say? What are you doing in my bedroom? What do you need this knife for? And so on and so forth, just useless questions you just never know, are they being polite or are they really interested? And come on, question as a greeting? That doesn't make sense to me at all. It just makes me lie. Because if a Russian person answers you, Yes, I'm fine, thank you, how are you? These are three lies in one sentence. Because, first of all, Russian person's never fine. Second of all, Russian person never cares about your business unless it's his business. Three, thank you, are you kidding me? Get out of here, I hate you. Well, it's either this or freezing somewhere at the cash desk forming a huge line behind me while I'm having existential crisis thinking how my life actually is. But you know, Americans also lie a lot. You just can't be fine if you're selling french fries at a random highway exit at 2 a.m. Another weird thing about USA is compliments from strangers. Whenever somebody randomly compliments my outfits like, ooh, I like your shirt. I'm like, what's wrong with my shirt? Don't stare at my shirt, you pervert, and just walk away really fast. Because Russians, they don't do compliments. You just keep your mouth shut to keep the worms inside. And calories are not free either. Wasting your energy like this, you can just end up starving to death. And also, everybody in Russia knows you don't talk to strangers, because first thing you know, they're asking you directions to the library. Next thing you know, you're lying face down in the payment with no money or phone. So, living in America talking to native speakers has been incredibly hard. Once I was going to that Atlanta aquarium with my friend who is native English speaker, we were watching jellyfishes, and I see one jellyfish with extremely long, you know, thingies, and I'm trying to remember the word, and I'm like, Come on, I heard that word somewhere before, somewhere in hentai cartoons. And I'm saying, look at the jellyfish, it has extremely long testicles. Wrong cartoon, wrong cartoon. So, I'm a snob to the bone, I despise modern music and cinema, because I'm obviously too smart for this. Well, I have a couple of guilty pleasures, like watching Marvel movies, or listening to Russian rap in the shower. I love when Russian characters appear in Hollywood movies. They make every movie into comedy. Because, first of all, after watching this video, you know how actual Russian accent sounds like, and not like, that's how we do it in Mother Russia. That was actually not that different. Maybe because I'm pronouncing fake Russian accent with my actual Russian accent. Well, anyways, I was citing that Colossus dude from Deadpool. Remember, big husky guy, silver skin? Apparently, he's Russian. I was so excited to learn about this that I went to Wikipedia and learned a lot about Russian history of mutants. So much about Colossus' biography is so much cliché. Of course he was born in USSR, deep down in Siberia, and of course his name is Pyotr Rasputin. I wouldn't be surprised if they filmed another X-Men movie that would be called Russian Mutants Origins Vladimir Putin Returns. Well, actually we have that movie every six years, it's just called Elections. And of course this colossal dude is a very religious man, because he's Russian. Some of my American friends even learned his Bozhemoy. And of course, since he's Russian, he doesn't use any curse words. Wait, what the f***? Anyways, I was rooting for that character almost as much as for Russian soccer team at FIFA 2018. Because he's the most decent Russian character in the whole Hollywood. Because if a Russian person appears in a Hollywood movie, it's either a killer, villain, spy, evil genius, or just involved with mob in any way. Come on guys, you have North Korea now. Let us at least share 50-50 of your prime time. So thanks for watching. I'll continue sharing my US experiences with you. Maybe teach you some Russian language, maybe teach you some Slav culture. If you don't want any trouble, put thumbs up and subscribe. Or KGB will joke one of their knock-knock jokes with you. It was me, Paka people.